Good morning, class family. It's a thankful Thursday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Fall along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right hand corner with the date. February 15th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Thursday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Then, we will share our thinking about a book. Last, we will write about love during writing workshop. It is a great day. Love, Ms. Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. All right, we're gonna look back and reread the message. Remember, that's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so they can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start in the top right hand corner with a date. I noticed a cap letter F E B period. What does that abbreviation stand for? We'll say the name of the month out loud. If you said February, you're right. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Notice the capital letter F to start. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, we're going to reread. Remember, from top to bottom and left to right, February 15th, 2024, Dear class family, today is Thursday. It is Thursday and it's a thankful Thursday. Notice the capital letter that starts that sentence and the period at the end. Good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks. As we are rereading, notice all of the uppercase letters and punctuation marks within our message. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day, working on being a portrait of a graduate. We're focusing on being a great communicator and collaborator. Remember to speak clearly with your mouth and listen with your ears. That's what good communicators do. Okay, we're gonna see the order of what we're doing this morning in language arts first, next, then, and last. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Just like we do every day at school in kindergarten, we'll use so many resources to help pump our brains with knowledge. We'll use our word wall with the foundations cards. We'll review letters, sounds, the picture and word. We're gonna use American Sign Language on this particular resource. The yellow cards are the consonants and the red cards are the vowels. Review vowels with me, kindergartners. Are you ready? A, A, Apple, E, A, Ed, I, I, Itch, O, A, Octopus, U, A, Up. In addition to our word wall with the foundations cards, we'll use our sound wall as a resource. We are using UFLY. We have our sound wall up in the classroom and we have an electronic version. We're going to be learning how to shape our mouths for all of the letters and sounds. And you know it, we're doing phonemic awareness, tapping that beginning, middle, and ending sound, and then saying that whole word. It's going to help us become better readers and and writers. And also today, you will be writing down some CVC words. It's going to be awesome. Next, we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. You will go on Lexia Core 5 reading program on your iPads, log on independently past more units. You're also going to be writing down CVC words that are up above the cubby area on the cabinets. You know, the ones with the hearts. You're going to be writing those CVC words down in your writing journal to practice writing some of these different words that we've been tapping out this school year for that beginning, middle, and ending sound and saying that whole word to so practice the writing as well. It's going to be awesome. Then we will share our thinking about a book. So we're going to read a book. We're going to share our thinking, and that's what good readers do. So we'll be listening to others, sharing our thinking, and asking and answering questions. Last, we will write about love during writing workshop. Oh, we will. We're going to continue this 
during writing workshop, we'll be using our resources alphabet chart, paper, pencil, crayons. We're going to be looking back at what you were focusing on yesterday with your sentences about love. You wrote so many pattern sentences. I love my blank. We're going to go ahead. You're going to revisit, see if you, um, for all of your sentence, did you one, start with a cap letter, tell a complete idea. Are there finger spaces between the words so the words don't smush together? And is there a punctuation mark at the end? So you're going to see if you did that for your sentences and drew a detailed picture about different things and people and things you're thinking about that you love. Remember, we did our circle map and we wrote sentences together. You did an awesome job yesterday going through and using the writing process and taking our graphic organizer, the circle map, taking those ideas and transferring it with the pattern sentence, I love my, and then you chose something and you filled in that blank, put a period at the end. I'm so proud of you. Let's go ahead and revisit that writing. You're going to reread it, revise, edit, and proofread. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Let's get it ready to be displayed out in the hallway and see all the different things in your life that you love. It is a great day, Love Miss Joyner. It is a great day. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question for today is, da -da -da -da, do you like roses? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like roses?